I have a piece of paper here. It's a Florida Uniform Traffic Citation. In other words, this is the traffic ticket you got from the police. And there are two parts of it. The first one is that you've got a penalty. The police officer made an immediate determination that you were responsible for the accident, that it happened as a result of your negligence. And consequently, you were immediately issued with a fine of $179. The second problem, though, is this, sir. On the same day of the accident, the police officer has written down an amount that he believes, or she believes, there was in terms of damage to the vehicle. And they take the view, it says, property damage, yes, and the police officer has filled in $6,500. That's the assessment of an American police officer. Two issues. Number one, that person is not a car specialist. It could be a lot less. Could be a lot more to resolve that damage, do you see? The second issue is that the car hire company may have covered you and they may consequently only be requiring you to pay an excess. So, you must have spoken to the car hire company who have given you an indication of how much you actually owe. Have you been receiving telephone calls from an American number? Yes. Have you answered any of those telephone calls? No. Why not? Because he didn't give me a solution. How Don't he... talk about him. You lent him the car. You need to come to court and tell me how much he or you are liable for. Would you like to telephone the car hire company now? No. <laughs> you may owe substantially less. All they may be wanting from you is the excess. Do you understand? Which might be $1,000 or $500. But I can't come to an award unless I'm satisfied that I can be confident as to how much you precisely owe. Do you understand? Yes. Would you like to telephone the car hire company? No. Yes or no? No. <laughs> Well, that's a matter for you, but I should tell you it causes grave problems for your case. Now, I have some further questions about what happened when you got back. Do you accept you owe some of this money? No. What, none of it? Un petit peu? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Right, so why did you say no? How much? I don't know. Because you don't know? <laughs> you don't know? I don't know. Michelle, do you know? <laughs> Peter? Anyone? I should be clear, sir. Telephoning the car company would be helpful to you. Do you understand? I have to give you that indication. It's in your interest, in my judgment, that you get in touch with them. You cannot make an application to me based upon the material you provided me with. Would you like a short adjournment to telephone the car company? No. Kebe, Greg, now, I want to be clear. If I had evidence, not from a police officer, but from the hire company, that the damages were $6,500, I would have had no difficulty whatsoever in awarding you more or less the full sum that you were applying for. The difficulty is that you have not provided me with that evidence. Now, the civil penalty, which was issued by the Floridian Police Service, for which I determine you're both jointly liable, was $179. Half of that sum is $89.50, which, by our exchange rate, we calculate to be £67.75. And, and just to be clear, you have 30 days to pay that from the date of this citation. That's running out fairly soon. Get it sorted. The order of this court is £67.75. I'm very sorry, sir. I gave you a chance. Kebby was awarded just £67.75 of his original claim. Let's find out how both parties felt about today's ruling. So the responsibility is not only me. It's yeah, I mean, it's like 50-50. Yes, so... So are you ready to pay? 
and need to yes, act like I, less careless. You have to wait. We need to pay, we need to find a solution. You need to stop being childish and be like, oh, I need to wait, oh, I don't know why. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judgment of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel right now. That's an order.